welcome back. Today we will be doing Leet Code problem 217 contains duplicate and this is an easy level question so uh, let's jump right to it. So the question states that given an array of numbers we have to return true if any value appears twice. So meaning that um, if this array contains a duplicate number, right? We want to return true. Um, it does contain a duplicate. And if every single value in this array is unique, then we retain we return false. Um, it does not have a um, duplicate number. So therefore, it does not contain a duplicate. So let's look at the first example, one, two, three, one. We can see that one appears twice, right? So does it contain a duplicate? Yes, it does. Um, example two, one, two, three, four, all the numbers are unique. There are no duplicates. And for number three, we can see that one appears three times, three appears um, three times as well. So it does contain duplicates. Now, what we want to think of if, when we think of, you know, being able to track the number of occurrences, a letter or number um, appears, one good thing to think about is to have a hash map in mind. So with that, let me just jump straight into the code so you can see um, just exactly what we're going through and how we're going to code it. <clears throat> so I have the code here already um, typed out so we can so I can walk um, through the solution and it's just a little bit more clear that way. So let me get all right. So this is our solution. And to know the count for each number, we need to have a um, an object or a hash map, a map. So this, what this does is that it tracks with the key value pairs, it tracks for a specific key, how many times this key has occurred. So if you take a look at this array, one, two, three, three, what will be, what we are going to need from that is um, something that looks like this. The key one occurs once, two occurs once, three occurs twice. So this is the data structure, so to say, that we need to create. Now, at, starting from line nine, I'm iterating through the elements of our input, which is a an array of numbers, right? So for let, for number of nums, which means we're going to be iterating through the elements and not the index. Um, let's see, does this number exist in our object count. Okay, now, if it doesn't, this is going to be undefined, and we'll go to the fallback value, we're going to set it to one. So num has occurred once, right? Now, if it has occurred um, twice, so if it does exist here, we don't go to the fallback value, we instead increment it by one. So let's run through it, right? In the beginning, does one exist in count? No, it doesn't. So we mark it as okay. It goes to the fallback value. Let's say it let's mark it as occurring once. Now has two have we seen two before? No, we haven't. We're gonna mark it as one. Now have we three have we seen three? No, we haven't. Let's mark it as one. Um, and we can just say that's one. And then when we iterate through again, we'll say, okay, yes, we've seen three and we're going to increment by one, and this becomes two. So starting from line nine, that's the loop that goes through every number in our array. If it doesn't exist, mark it as one. If it does, we increment it by one. Now, here comes the part where we determine whether it's a duplicate or not. If the occurrence is two or greater, we return true. Otherwise, if we make it through the loop, if we've made it through every single element in this array, Without triggering the return true, we can just say return false, and it does not contain a duplicate. So this is the solution for contains duplicate. And as you can see, I've run it already once, and it has passed. And that is all. I'm wondering if, yeah, no, that's it. Thank you. And oh yeah, if you find it helpful, it would be cool for you guys to subscribe and like. Thank you.